This is Case Trashney from the Data Ventures booth. We're here at Data Universe. I'm here with Ethan Aaron from Portable. Ethan, how's your day going so far? It's going great. I live 20 minutes away from here, so it was a very convenient trek for me. I've seen a lot of people that I know and respect in the industry, so it's been a great day so far. I know, there's a big data conference in New York City. How do you feel about that? We've no, so, New York in the last few years has gone from having not a ton going on in the data world to a few different communities that have popped up, and this is the first time, at least that I know of, where there's been a big scale event, um, and it's awesome. I, I expect to see more over time, um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have something in the area. I know, when I, we were in Big Data London, this is September 2023, and I heard that there's a big event coming to New York, and I'm like, okay, I'll do anything to help you make this happen. This is awesome. Totally. This is super excited. And I know you have your low-key data happy hour. Tell us about that. Yeah, so it, it kind of started by accident. So I was hanging out with a couple of friends at a bar, and I had been posting on LinkedIn for a while, and I was like, I wonder if I can get people on LinkedIn in this virtual world to physically show up in person. And this was yeah. a couple of years after COVID, people were looking for things to do where they could interact and the city didn't have a ton of data stuff going on. So I, I ended up starting the low key data movement at this point where it's a happy hour with no agendas, no speakers, no sponsors, and everyone buys their own drinks. I brought it up to a couple of people today and they were like, does anyone go to that? That sounds ridiculous. It's, it's amazing. We've got 1400 people signed up in New York, about 100 to 150 show up every month. Um, and people have started the same thing in cities around the world. Um, so, what do people do once they get there? What happens? No, there's no plan. <laughs> there's no. There's no point to it. It's just like you get there. The bar that we do it at in New York is a dive bar, pretty big dive bar. Is it always and, the same bar? Yeah. Um, I didn't think it was going to be initially, but I've been. The staff there is awesome. It's the right amount of. It's a big bar, but also crowded enough where you walk in, you're like, oh, you're the data people. And then you're kind of like forced to communicate and hang out with other people. You can't, if you're a wallflower, which a lot of people in data are, yeah. like the wall is five feet away from the bar. So like you're kind of sucked into talking about databases and SQL statements and the latest stuff on LinkedIn and whatever. So um, it's a cool place where people aren't pressured to buy or sell anything. There's no logos anywhere. Like, you buy your own drink so you don't feel like you owe someone anything. Yes, um, I love that part where you make it very clear because I've gotten some emails from you. You're like, yeah. you can come there, it's a bar, you buy your own drink, bring bring cash. I remember seeing yeah. that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like there's a there's a limit for credit cards. Yep. So I love the transparency and I love the approach because it is different than if you go to a sponsored event and totally. you're sort of pressured to talk about a specific topic or behave a certain way. And this way you're just taking LinkedIn or social media offline yeah. and you're in person. I totally. love that. And it's crazy because people have they looked at that and they're like, wow, can I do that in Raleigh or Atlanta or LA? And everyone's gotten their different take on it. You can um, have chapters soon, located yeah. chapters. And, and people, are, people are doing it though. Okay. I just sent them my playbook, which is reach out to a bar, see if you can invite your friends, post about it a few times on LinkedIn or wherever, and then just send people an invite. And the playbook, there's about 70 people to go every month in Raleigh. Yeah, um, that's nice. I need to make it down there one of these days. It's not, I'm not, a, I'm not affiliated You're not with even it there. You're at just... all. It's just other people hosting events in a same, similar manner, which is so cool. Very cool. All right, so you're the CEO of Portable. Correct, yes. Tell us about that. So data integrations as a problem has been around forever. Uh, it's just like, before you can do anything with your data, you have to get it out of some system, put it into a centralized place, so you can then start asking it questions. The problem we saw when we started the company four years ago was there are data integrations to big systems, things like Salesforce or Marketo or Workday, and you've got 10 options for each of those. Yep. But as you go deeper into someone's tech stack, they start to get to a point where there are no options. The only option is write custom code, read API documentation. So we started Portable focused entirely on that. We, we focus on the long tail of systems, the weird, like right before this, I was building a connector to UKG Ready, which is in a subset of a HR system called UKG that one of our clients needs an integration to. So that, I had another request for a tool called BirdEye today. I don't know what, what, what it is, but I need and to get I it working. And I interrupted that for this interview, yeah. I'm sorry. No, so like, that, that's what we do when people look at it as somewhere in between a service and a product. They're just like, I need this thing. I don't want to deal with it. Can I just call Portable and have them do it? And it's, right now it's me building all the connectors. Okay, so, yeah. how big is the team? Is it just you right now? We're very lean. So we are three people as of today going on four wow. next week. Um, and we we have over 1,200 integrations at this point. So more than everyone else in this building. I think least. that tripled um, since the first time we spoke. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, and we, we, we just did it by building a platform, it sounds simple, but by <laughs> building a platform on which we build and maintain integrations, yeah. and then banging our heads against thousands of sets of API documentation. It's really riveting stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm assuming that's a lot of maintenance though, because things change and they might break, right? Constantly, so like it's, it's everyone thinks of development as the dif difficult part, but actually a lot of the platform work we've done, a lot of the things we've actually invested in make it it, it's to reduce maintenance. Okay. So a lot of the stuff is kind of the intersection of building new stuff, adding more endpoints, pulling more data, and being able to very rapidly figure out when things go wrong, what what, what happened, and how do you actually address it quickly. Um, it's all we do, all day, every day. Nice, all right, last question for you. We're at Data Universe at the Javits Center. Yep. How's your experience as, a, as an attendee been so far? It's been, so number one, the people here are amazing. It, it, it is the who's who of data, yeah. and they're probably all on your, your show today. <laughs> they're all watching um, you right yeah. now. <laughs> um, so that's been amazing. People, not just like the local data community coming out, but also people from all over the world yeah. here. So that, that's been the highlight so far. Um, the booths, um, it's not the biggest booth setup and vendor setup, but that kind of makes it more approachable. It makes it easy to go. It's intimate. To a, yeah, it may, like you do your laps, like you get a couple demos, you like hang out with some people, you go sit at the table, hang out with some more people. Um, I haven't actually attended any of the sessions yet. I've been building connectors. You're and, attending and, my session tomorrow, and, the yeah, breakfast panel, yep. yes, um, of course. So I can't speak to that, but overall I would say I'm really excited that there's someone planting a flag in New York and saying we're going to start creating a big conference, conference size event in the city. Yes. Um, because the data community here is a, it's a big center of mass in the world when it comes to data. Exactly, so. and it's broader, it's not like a product. Because you know we have events like the Snowflake event and the yep. Salesforce event. Yep. I do try to attend those just because I'm like, okay, I'm in New York, yeah. I can't miss that. Yep. So I, I love to see this here as well. Yeah. And Ethan, I want to thank you so much for stopping by the Data Venture booth and Always. chatting with yes. me today. Absolute pleasure.